at this point. Sorry, we don't have a screen to share at this point. But um, I guess a, a, a review is that we're, um, just to remind you what the task is, we're trying to, oh, that's very helpful. We do have some screens. Um, so yeah, we're trying to create these kind of hex diagrams uh, where every, every um, hexagon represents an equal proportion of the population. Um, and, but also where each of these hexagons also looks like it's roughly in the right place in terms of its relationship to each other one. So if, if one place is east or west of each other, then they should be east and west in this diagram or something roughly approximating to that. Um, but it's a real challenge because, because actually in real life, the centers of these cities and so on have a lot more hexagons to needed to represent the population. Um, and so we've been kind of thinking through the problem and what it amounts to and whether an existing library that um, Wayne had, had looked at in the past, whether that was doing the right thing or we, whether we need to do something different. Um, but one of the things we've achieved is to split the problem into two parts. So one is, how do we do this mapping? And the other one is, how do we then visualize it? So um, we have, what are we seeing here? Yeah, so this is a library we've identified for the visualization side of, of things, um, which takes, which allows it, which, which has a kind of underlying data um, structure that, that represents that hexagonal map. Um, and it means that we can, we can visualize that really nicely. So, so then we just need to get the original data zone data and work out how we map that to these which is quite tricky, um, what we're still thinking about. Um, so I think what we're planning to do moving forward is to is maybe to split the task into two things. So we'll have, maybe some of the team will try to work out how to do that mapping from data zones into hex, hexes. Um, and at the same time, we'll maybe try to do some manual laying out of hexagons for one or more areas maybe. Um, and use the, the library to present that. Um, because one of our thoughts is that maybe this isn't actually a task that we need, we want to compute an answer to because maybe actually the, we do need a bit of human interaction with it to make it look how we'd like it to, rather than just a sort of mathematical response to things. So what else have I missed out? So this is a classic example of trying to figure out what is the problem we're actually trying to solve, uh, because what appeared to be a relatively straightforward solution, how do you map irregular shapes to an array of regular shapes, seem to be a bit straightforward, but there are a huge amount of constraints. So for example, um, you can only have six objects around the periphery of a hexagon. So you've immediately got a constraint where in the real world, there may be very much more or less than that. Um, so there are accommodations to be made. And it, you know this example here uses a, um, a, a well-known algorithm. Um, and you can see from it, roughly, most of the locations are in the right place. Um, but if you look a bit more closely, so for example, it, you know, Glasgow is definitely not up <laughs> in the Western Isles. So he's not an island. Right? It, indeed. <laughs> um, so we're trying to figure out what is this, what is the problem we're trying to solve here? Is it some sort of loss minimization function where, you know, the aggregate difference in distance between the centroids of the hexagons and the centroids of the original um, data zone on the map, whether that's minimized, or are we looking at something like some sort of repulsion thing that, uh, you know, there's a bigger error 
having Glasgow away up in uh, you know the Western Isles rather than having, for example, the east of Aberdeen to the left of the west of Aberdeen um, type of thing. So we're still trying to get our head around specifying exactly what is it the problem we're trying to solve is. Questions from the audience? So again, going back to this H3 and what I rec recall. So we want to use hexagons because planet Earth is a sphere or a spheroid. And that's why it's more accurate than doing it in boxes. But then you've got this. And I think the solution to get the resolution, to get the right things in the right mouse, uh, right uh, place on the map is to make the hexagons smaller. And then you batch them together to form your geographic areas precisely. But I remember thinking that's pretty, you know, it's pretty hard, but I mean, that's what Uber are doing because the car's going, but they will have the county. So they, whatever resolution you need on the Glasgow city center, in the map, you have to choose a resolution of a hexagon that's going to map to that border pretty well. So the errors are at that, but it's hard. That's all I can remember. So I think I think uh, I think what we found was that that was the challenge: is working out what the problem is that we're trying to solve. Um, and so the the Uber library is is mapping areas exactly where they are geographically um, and as you're saying if you want to kind of map specific areas then you maybe need to make the hexagon smaller whereas what we're trying to do is say each he each hexagon represents effectively a thousand people a thousand households so uh, in the center of the city uh, a thousand households might be a really small area but we want to represent it as the same size hexagon in the final output. So it's, it's a slight different thing from the Uber uh, case. Do I understand that correctly? Then you're trying to work out what the right resolution for the hex is to have you represent one hex as about a thousand families. And then, so what? What's, and then work that out from from. Well, what's the small? How? What's the biggest one where we're going to have a hex that we would normally have five of those hexes in the same space because they're all tower blocks or something, right? As opposed to somewhere in Aberdeenshire where where that one hex is 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 much ten twenty times larger because there's hardly anybody there, right? So that they still fit on a map without being completely skewed? Um, I mean, I think, well, I mean, our thought is to It's take... the same thing, presumably, as what, like, OS maps have for, for we want to print this out, right, to do a paper map, and what's the resolution we're going to use for the map itself? Um, I think I think this just demonstrates how tricky the problem is to, yeah. to describe, actually. Um, the, the, I mean, fundamentally, we're thinking about data zones as our as our areas because because someone kindly has done this work before already <laughs> in 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 dividing the country up into areas that are roughly a thousand households sorry a hundred households um so that that work has already been done um but it's just how to we, we kind of want to distort the map basically so that in we want but to no one's then taken the data zones and map them to hexes i take it right and that's the new part that you're doing yeah to come back to, to where you're at, okay. Yeah, and 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 so we we wanted to distort the map so that so that effectively each household gets the same space on the map, but we still want to preserve a likeness, yeah, to to a real map. And 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 effectively, you know, the, the underlying reason to do this is to is to be, then be able to pre present statistical information where yeah. effectively every person gets equal weighting in the visual presentation of that. Yeah. 
Okay, so so then my I guess my question, because I don't see anyone else with hands up or anything, is this why not do two different versions and just to see what the results look like? Because presumably the algorithm will be pretty much the same, but you'll be able to see them and present them and we can go, yeah, no, this you can ask the audience which one looks better or whatever. Yeah, otherwise you're otherwise it's my opinion versus your opinion and and but you need to build it perhaps to chest. I mean, I, I, I think at the moment we're quite challenged by just creating one of these. Um, but, but also we're thinking about doing some, a, a smaller case by hand, uh, which, right. which is, um, is also useful to, okay. to do. Okay, any other questions? No, okay. No, I think we're definitely done. I don't see any others, right? No one else who feels 